both of these players will kind of like be taking turns on one another. Like Nessa's advantage state, like maybe with like the PK fires and then the follow ups with the throws, but then bars with, you know, whatever it is Goy that can do, you know? Yeah, both of these characters have incredibly horizontal combo games and they'll just stretch across that big center area of the stage. However, both, thanks to the center platform, the yep. side platforms on both, on both ends, it'll make both of their probably more linear recoveries a lot more mix up heavy. And which, I feel so. like right now we just need to talk about for a second, like how Liv just strung along. Forward to grab, forward to grab, forward to grab. I. That was a little. Okay. <laughs> I'm all about creativity, and with that, uh, with that runoff platform up there, in order to get that sweet sounding sweet spots. Mm -hmm. Ooh, oh. catching him with the jab, but not being able to follow up on it. It's an anti air, too. Oh, uh, what a great dash dance. I actually kind of like that because, like, PK Flash doesn't really send you anywhere. So you can yep. just, like, throw out this giant, really deadly hitbox mm -hmm. and just, you know, like, challenge me if you dare. It's a stall. It will help you drift a little, it'll help your momentum a little bit too. It, it, I'm sorry, it cancels your momentum because it's a stall. And then it also just, like, throws out this big giant thing that you put on a but absolutely. And has no end lag whatsoever, but the drop down for you to calling out ribs for recovering so slowly from the middle. Oh, it's unfortunate that up there didn't hit. We see, we see Bars playing a really solid grounded game, waiting for Ness to come down with the, his eventual aerial. Oh, okay. I guess that traded with the PSI Magnet. Oh, but that back throw definitely yeah. enough to take out the stock, um, even if he didn't complete the side B. Uh, I love the fact that Ribs is very, very aware of that. Um, right, just some aerial PK fires. He may not put the dash, uh, the dash attack coming through. Ooh. Oh, I thought he was going to go for the... Okay, he's dead anyway. Yeah, but his uh, fast falls after yeah. the... Um, the ugh, I believe that was a forward or something. Yeah, he's, I think... Was he trying to buffer a roll and then got the, the air dodge instead, or was it just a fast fall? I didn't catch it. I don't... It could have been a fast fall neutral air dodge. Right. Um, but regardless... Ooh, great. Uh, just call out on the side B with the back air. These are solid reactions coming out from Riz. Oh my god. <laughs> this, is, this is like a solid, like both coverage and reactions coming out from Riz. Being able to see when uh, when Barz is going for the top platform or when he's just. Okay. No. <laughs> and that was really, really scary right now for Barz actually, because the charge hit of the up smash actually traded with, um, I believe he threw out an F tilt, was it? Um, so it had Ribs gotten the complete. Galaxy Brain. <laughs> <laughs> He's just having fun with it. That's okay. That was that was really cool. <laughs> uh, but Barnes able, able to take a stop with a, what I think was a back air. I, I might have my short term memory is all over the place right now as these players are trying to mix up on each other's shields. I love the fact that Ribs did a magnet into a double jump cancel reverse magnet, but that was almost enough to take it right now. This is so scary. Yep. Wow. Barnes bringing that back after that SD. So a little little something about Nessus PK Thunder. He has 32 frames of invulnerability after he hits himself. So meaning, if you see a Ness recover at mid-range, and then you wonder, hey, why did my counter just whiff on him? Either he somehow maneuvered it around you, or it's just simply the fact that Ness still has invulnerability. But when you were recovering as deep as Ribs did, you can't counter it. Yeah. You can't, I'm sorry, you can't counter it. And you're going to explode probably at 0% from that. Because it just does so much knockback, and when you counter it, you know, it's, it's absolutely nuts. That makes sense. Uh, most counters have invulnerability, though. Uh, so when you go, even if he, Ness isn't hit, uh, yep. the counter character won't get hit as well. Yep. Uh, this is true all except for Joker's, actually. Huh. Yeah, uh, Joker is not invulnerable. The hitbox is just huge. So if, really? Ness, if Ness is invulnerable and charging through, then it'll still hit Joker. Yeah. Huh. I never knew that. That's really fascinating. Um, but running it back to Kalos, I feel like both of the stage worked out really well for both of them, but the drag down up here... And he did it twice! Oh my gosh. So nice, we got to see it again. It's saucy, it's beautiful. I really, really love that kind of stuff. Alright, And Grips has to be careful about how he's landing on bars. He's just like landing on his shield like that. Oh, that didn't hit. Um, that was like great knowledge. That was cool. it's pacing, I guess. Bars is always like, I see him dashing in a lot and then like holding shield. And once he sees that Ribs is committing to the air, he's jumping out of shield, either with a fair or an up air. So yep. we might see some of these mix ups from Ribs once he catches onto it. I'm just like going for a straight up gra dash grab. Like, sometimes it works. And I love the way that Ribs is treating Ness on ledge about how he's like getting back onto stage. You see him go with a drop down upbeat. <gasps> Magnet, that was a rising magnet falling up here into back throw. Not enough to take it from across the stage like that. But um, 
Uh, okay. Ball is making sure not to fall into the uh, up smash. Something about Ness's charging hits. They have a charging uh, active hitbox of 1.5 seconds. Yep. He's caught him with that. It's like so many times now. So, like, it's nuts. It's so, so good. And right now, Libs. Completely safe. Oh, the up tilt catches on the other side, despite the roll not going, going long enough. This Got a little, so bit of, tense. little bit of footsies, but the PK fire gets Ness some space. Okay. That shield is getting really low. All, I mean, so, so what happened? So what happened there was, uh, you know, like whenever Ness like bounces onto a surface, he can recover within 1.5 seconds. Um, no, I'm sorry, no, we're in 20 frames, goodness. Um, and so, in that sense, all he did was just use it to, like, throw out another PK Thunder. But right now, um, Ribs is able to successfully get back onto stage, getting a little bit of damage racked up with the uh, PK Fire. I thought he would have gone for the back of there instead of that up air, but perhaps he was looking for another grab. Mm -hmm. Alright. Oh, auto-canceling the dare on the platform just to mix up the mix up his spacing. But a good hold down there to get some, get some space. Ribs is in the... Ooh. Okay, he, he lost the stock, but he is in the driver's seat. He's at 100% right now. He's just like waiting for bugs to press him up. He just saw him like standing in front of him. He's like ready with the back, he's ready with the forward, and he's something. Luckily, Roy is pretty good at pressing buttons. Oh, okay. Falling through the platform with that up air. Extending his juggle a little bit with that PK Thunder, but however, Bugs is able to land successfully. And right now, Gribs is going to be looking for something to take out the stock. He did up smash. Or he tried to go for the grab, but Roy just simply came out faster. Oh, the double jump made it. Yeah. All right, good job on on, uh, on bars here to ca catch a lot of these dash backs because he knows he's going to come in with this PSI magnet, yep. which is going to like lead into either a his it, it lead to his doom, regardless of what he connects afterwards. Just the. And right there, you saw Bugs be ready at the ledge for the PK Thunder. He shielded it, but still was unable to get the punish for it. And now Libs is really, really mixing it up. And this is so dangerous right now for Roy, but Bugs is still able to make it back despite being so deep. The pacing on this match is like so, like, different. Yeah, back up. Yeah, both these players are now, like, heavily... They're heavily relying on their own mix-up game because they're both just daring each other to hit a button in their face. Yeah. It's... Interesting because it's not quite footsies, but it's a little bit more than. It, but it's definitely not like they're camping each other out. They're just in like a Western stare down. Mm -hmm. That is until Ribs has decided to put to keep bars off on his back foot. Please and oh, uh, down Ribs air. trying to get the down and put probably into an up air, but a little bit too slow on it. Getting the down uh, salary spot, a uh, salary timing of down air. He went deep. And that's his air dodge more than enough to snap onto the ledge from that kind of a distance. And right now he was, wow, that was so good because if he got, ah, if he got the hit of the of the magnet, that would have been an, either an up air or a back air just to knock the bars off super super far. I love the way that Libs is like converting off of magnet, and despite it being like a really really unsafe move, it just has so many follow. -up. Oh, back air there, caught him with the di mix up, and now he's fading really off stage. Uh, good little aerial drift. Mm. Two magnets in order to mix, mix up his landing a little bit, but. You're on Kalos, that won't kill quite yet. Yep, and that's definitely like a big change from like Ooh. Smash 4 with Roy and Mario. They could kill you in substantially lower percents with their up throw. But in this game, like it's definitely something they struggle to even at like 142% rage. Great parry from Mars. Right, Just getting the perfect punish. Now, this is a, a similar position where we were in game one, and Bars just decided, you know what, now I'm gonna hit you with this zero to death real quick. So 149 is a whole lot more dangerous though. Yeah, yeah, that'll do. Well, this has to be a little bit more attentive on ledge, but if Ness is right there shielding and you're that up smash kill percent, that's definitely one of the most precarious situations to be in, right? Because Ness can just do an up smash out of shield. You can't get up attack his shield because he can nail you to kill you, he can grab you to kill you. You can't jump above it because up smash is going to cover it. And if you're unfortunate and you have a short roll, up smash is still going to hit you. So. It's definitely like, unless your character has disjoints, which Roy does, he can do like a drop down forward and perfectly spaced. It's so, so hard to get back onto stage against that. Especially with the, since he was at such a billion percent, yep. the invincibility timer was going to run out much, much quicker, mm -hmm. giving him a lot less time to react to and pick an option. Yep. So, uh, pressure is a word for it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but they're still running it back to Kalos, uh, a choice that I still agree with to some extent. And right now, Ooh, Ribs is getting quite a bit started. Oh, Ooh, I love that. That was so saucy. He got to drag down up air, 
It's, I don't even, I can't even describe that entire sequence. That was phenomenal from Wibbs. Getting the double jump cancel the release PK finally just to stuff out while he's jumping, but not being able to follow up with it. But Bar says, now it's my turn to play the video game. Yep. <laughs> As, okay. Oh, missing two fares, that's kind of crucial, especially since he committed to the PK Thunder. Oh, uh, be oh, okay, yes, we go out. Yes, okay, that was so, so, so good. I'm sorry we're doing off shield, but like, Bodies had to go out of shield right there, because that would have been the shield break setup if he just waited a little bit longer. Ugh, yeah, but I as mean, you say... No, 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 you got, you've got all the, a lot more knowledge on nest setups than I ever do. <laughs> uh, but okay. the Roya up B, not yeah. big enough of a hitbox to Shark Nasty the up smash, taking it out. I love these B-reverse magnets because it's just such a, like, it, it put him in such a good position to, to mix up whatever aerial he's going to do. Since all of, well, not all of them, but a lot of that pressure, just because of the un unresponsive nature, and it, yep. it makes it so that it's safe, even if it's not quite safe on shield or negative on hit. Oh, just a forward tilt. That's fine. Not enough to take it quite yet. If they were a little bit closer to the edge of stage, definitely would have been the stock right there. Ah, ribs oh. a little bit too close to the edge of the stage for the up B to try to go and smack bars. Yeah, just a short down tilt short hop there. The Roy the Roy ledge trapping classic and Krom, I guess. Mm -hmm. But with the sweet spot there, that'll definitely kill at 140. Okay. And we got some nairs out of shield. One more. 48 percent I feel like yeah. Ribs already extended his jump up. You see him air dodging to ledge. For one of the few times that's set, that is extremely exploitable against a character with great two frame options like Roy. So you just don't see Ness is going through that a lot. Alright, not committing to the full one as as Riz expected. Oh, what a nice little angle there. Mm -hmm. And I love the fact that Buzz chose to like play it back a little bit because had Ribs mixed that up and landed onto stage with it, that could have been very, very dangerous. So I love the fact that he retreated. Um, ooh, the back here was really, really great. And Ribs almost getting the edge hurt, but the Buzz with the great recovery mix up. Yeah, you can really tell that Bars is kind of feeling feeling a Ribs' shield pressure. Oh, in the Ooh. roll! <laughs> okay, that was nuts. That was so good. That was so good. Because the whole set, he was like doing drag down up into grab or something. And that instant was fantastic. But Bars bringing it right back, I believe, with another F tilt. And this is a very, very even game right now. Yeah. Zeros across the board. Last stop, last game. <laughs> And like you just see Ribs cover so much with like those full hop forward airs and to drop down double jump cancel magnet because as you would expect Ness to land, he just jerks up with this momentum based hitbox that can convert into so much. But you just you see Bars adapting and now he's not running into those and respecting it a little bit more. And Bars is making sure that he's playing at his sword range. Even if it's with, even if it's the the weak spot, he knows he can convert those into strong into sweet spots. He just has to keep away from, he has to keep away from Ness's ground range and stay out of the aerial range. As a pivot cancel forward tilt gets that sweet spot. And I oh, love man. the fact that Buzz a little bit earlier was just like catching on to the fact that Ribs was approaching a lot by dashing and shielding. So he just ran up and grabbed him. He's like, yep, I'm, I'll throw you off stage with that. <laughs> oh, the dash attack missed and just a couple couple jabs coming out. But we get that another grab. Trying for the pivot cancel forward tilt again, but he jumped out of it. Okay. Just a couple magnets, but he swats them away like a fly. Uh, he missed the edge cancel with the down air. Still able to make it back with the PK Thunder. Phenomenal distance on it. Um, and right now, like, they're both, so they both know that whoever gets the next hit can knock them off stage, and that might be... <gasps> didn't yeah. get the sweet spot on the down tilt, unfortunately. Yeah, but the catches are tilt. all, and he's inside right there. Yep. That was such a great sequence because it, for a while there, uh, Rift was getting away with that PK Thunder from Ledge and then re-grabbing. So this time he made sure he's like, "I know you're yeah. not gonna, you're not gonna go for anything else. I'll just shield this PK Thunder and get this down tilt. Yeah. You'll feel the pressure, so I know the roll is coming." 